Hi everyone. Up next we have from Holland the Leiden phone. Turn it over. One I recently acquired from eBay. Give you an idea of it. It's an Leiden IDK PTT. It's dated the 12th. I think it's 85 but it's not too clear. It's certainly the 80s. Um, what do I think of this phone? Unfortunately it's the time period when they sort of cheapened them. Not just this model but quite a few other models. There was no screws in the base. It was all held in by springing pieces of plastic. You can see the pointing out there. Um, as you can probably tell from my voice, not that impressed with the phone. It's certainly not like the old fashioned ones. Anyhow, it's to say, it's one for the other uh, collection. Um, whether it's rare or not, I don't know. Um, other people from Holland will probably have a few things to say. I hope they do because, as I say, my knowledge of this phone is very, very limited. Um, the handsets, once again, is one that's held in by two screws, which also indicates to me it's something that, um, you know, the modernness of it at the time tells me that the quality is probably not there. I did notice one thing in there you've got like a keyhole and I think there would have been a key that originally went in there and it appears to be able to turn the pulsing off of the dial so you can have it so that it can receive calls but you couldn't make calls without switching on that part doesn't seem to be working. Um, I haven't got a diagram with it, so it's it's um, one for the future. Yeah, a few other points show the normal um, the normal Dutch type of plug. Obviously, the Tristy cord. The dial itself is all plastic, inside it's plastic. It's got a printed circuit board with transistors on it. Um, transistor obviously used for the tone ringer which is in there and it's adjustable simply by moving a little cover that covers over the thing. it's completely covered now inside so that would be the minimum ring or tone and that would be on maximum if we can show it there we are that would be on maximum uh, the printed circuit had the name or the letters SEL on it which stands for Standard Telephones Lorentz which is or was a German firm standard name often appears on phones in England there was standard telephones and cables there was standard rents in, in Germany um, and many many phones throughout the world the standard names it was all a branch of ITT anyhow this is more or less all that I, I can say about it at this stage Got the normal dial, nice and smooth. Got symbols on there which obviously indicate the dial is on or off. And I must admit I couldn't make head or tail of it. So there's a symbol there. There's two symbols, and that refers to that little keyway. I haven't got the key with it, but it's uh, just a as simple make and break. If you look at the back there's just two wires go to it. 
They then go off to the impulse springs and the dial off of normal springs. But at this stage I haven't worried too much about it. It's more or less to get this on YouTube so it can be displayed and people can have a look. That circle there would have probably been an, for use with an earth button. Anyhow, that's about it. Any questions please ask. I'll try and get back with a satisfactory answer. Um, any other things that you can add to it, please do so because uh, it is one of the phones I've, my knowledge of is very, very limited. So once again, recapping on the name, it's the Leiden IDK. The, termin the terminations at the top, they go into a little multi-pin plug and the printed circuit itself has little wire connectors which it plugs into. It's all held on by clips, not a single screw in sight, which in my, my opinion is a great pity, but not to worry. Anyhow, once again, thanks for watching. And it's another one added to the world of telephones. Thank you again. Thank you.